Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to be unboxing and giving my review of the official Apple iPhone 13 Pro leather case. This case retails for £49 and is available in five colours. Golden brown, dark cherry, sequoia green, wisteria and midnight, which is what I have here. The unboxing experience is very straightforward. Sliding the tab at the top to pull the case out of the box in its tray, we can lift it up and beneath it you'll find some documentation and that's pretty much it. Taking a closer look at the inside of the case, we can see that it's lined in a microfiber material which ensures that your iPhone remains cushioned when it is in and minimises the risk of any dust or debris that gets inside from scratching against the side of the phone. You'll also notice the magnetic ring present that indicates the case's MagSafe compatibility. These magnets allow for a MagSafe charger to be attached to the case and for MagSafe charging to continue to function through it. So this is something that will be a plus if you're someone who charges their phone with MagSafe. Installing the phone is very straightforward. Once in, you can see that the colour of the stainless steel band on the phone shows through in various places around the case, most notably around the front bezel where you can see the gold outline of the phone that I have here, as well as the area around the ringer silence switch and the cutout at the bottom for the lightning port and speaker and microphone holes. The case itself is definitely a high-end product with a texture that both looks and feels premium. There is an Apple logo on the back that is indented into the leather and the case is nice and soft to the touch. The buttons on the side of the case are made from aluminium that's colour matched to whichever case you go for, which is different to the official Apple silicon case for this phone, but comes with silicon buttons instead. This does give the buttons a nice tactile click, which will feel even nicer as the leather of the case wears in over a period of use. You can also see that the front perimeter of the case is raised above the display slightly, meaning that when you place the phone face down onto a flat surface, the display never makes direct contact with it, which is obviously going to protect it from getting scratched, or even shattering when this is done. Finally, I just want to comment on this case's long-term durability. With it being a natural leather product, the appearance will change over time as the material wears after being used in your hand for extensive periods of time. I have an iPhone 10 leather case in black here and as you can see it has become shinier over the four years that it's been on my phone for with slightly more wear on the edges where I tend to grip it. You are also more likely to notice wear on a case that isn't black particularly on the lighter wisteria colour so do take that into mind when choosing which colour to go for. I have also dropped it a couple of times and whilst it's done a perfect job of protecting the phone, the softness of the leather has meant that the case has sustained some damage on the edges. So if you are someone who knows they are likely to drop or ding their phone often, and would find permanent imperfections in the case as a result of that annoying, then perhaps an Apple silicon case would be a better option for you. Other than that, that's all I have to say about this case. It's definitely on the pricey side as far as cases go, but having had an Apple leather case on my phone for the last four years, I can comfortably say that they protect the phones very well, and they do last long, whilst also feeling and looking great. If you found this video helpful, then please do give it a like by hitting the thumbs up button. Do also consider subscribing and make sure you hit the notification bell icon and set your preferences to all so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.